Here it is, the Asus ZenBook Duo, the new 2024 model. We have never seen anything like this. A laptop with two 14-inch screens and a keyboard that goes on top of the screen. This is my full review and deep dive test. What's up, geeks? I'm Kirk, and this is my deep dive review of what I think is a pretty cool concept when it comes to laptops, and definitely something we have never seen before. Asus out with this new ZenBook Duo. It really is cool. So I'm gonna talk about the hardware. I'm gonna do some benchmark testing on this as well. I'll break down some of my concerns and stay till the end. We'll go through that at the end of this video. So first I wanna start with the basic hardware here and you gotta talk about the screens first. You've got those two 14 inch screens and there's two different configurations here. So the standard configuration is gonna be full HD. 1920 by 1200 resolution, it's 120 hertz. These are OLED screens, really nice screens from Asus. There's gonna be an alternative configuration, I didn't get to test this one out, that Asus calls a 3K screen at 2880 by 1800, also OLED, also 128 hertz. When it comes to the processor power on the inside, this thing is running the newest Intel processors, the new Core Ultra processors. The unit I tested out is the base model, which is a Ultra 7 processor. They also are gonna sell this in an Ultra 9 processor. In terms of graphics, nothing fancy here. This is using Intel's new Arc graphics processor. I did some benchmarking, as I mentioned, so stick around later in the video and I'll show you how it did in the video benchmarking tests. So on the outside, we've got one USB 3.2 port. We've got two Thunderbolt ports, USB-C ports. You could use this for power or external displays. And then we've got a full-size HDMI port. There also is a headphone slash microphone input jack, which is nice to see, a full-size headphone jack. You've got a webcam on here with infrared support. That means that you can use this for face detection with Windows Hello. And then you've got Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.3. These are the ports and specs that I think most of us would expect on a brand new laptop like this. So inside the box, you get the laptop. They include a stylus pen and a backpack carrying case, which is kind of cool to see. Check out my unboxing video. I go through everything that's inside the box. I also have a link to that video, my unboxing video, down in the description, so check that out. So the magic behind the ZenBook Duo is this. It looks like a standard laptop until you peel off the keyboard. It's a super thin, surprisingly thin Bluetooth keyboard and then you now reveal those two 14 inch screens. So the keyboard uses pogo plugs to connect to the laptop and it charges the keyboard up. There are magnets that help attach it properly and a soft rubbery back to avoid scratching the screen. I gotta tell you, I was very impressed with this keyboard. Asus did a good job here because it just works. It doesn't feel clunky, it switches modes quickly when you take the keyboard off, and then it switches back almost instantaneously when you put the keyboard back on. So let me show you the three main ways you're gonna use the ZenBook Duo. First, standard laptop mode. So boring, so pedestrian, but honestly, this is probably the way you'll spend using this laptop the most because this is what we're used to. It does feel slightly thicker than many laptops today. I mean, it has to be. You have a Bluetooth keyboard sandwiched between two screens, but it's not overly bulky. I, I frankly expected it to feel bulkier. I was pleasantly surprised with how it felt, but it does feel thicker. Then you pull off the keyboard, use the stand built into the back, and then you use the screens on top of each other. I think this is one of the coolest modes. This would be the second most common way you're probably gonna use the ZenBook Duo. When you've got the keyboard pulled off, the keyboard feels good. Despite how thin it is, I thought it felt just like any other normal laptop keyboard. There was no adjustment phase because of the thinness of this keyboard. It just worked. I'd probably use a mouse, but the trackpad on here is good. It's what you'd expect the trackpad to be on in a laptop. And the screen on top of screen configuration, I found surprisingly useful, especially considering these are 14 inch screens. These aren't giant 27 inch monitors. So when you've got a 14 inch screen on top of a 14 inch screen, it's very usable. And you can put a window up top and a window on bottom. I like it. Finally, you can use it like a book, side by side, which would be great if you're a 100% web person, for example. The vertical mode makes sense for websites side by side. Again, the keyboard set down on the table being used wirelessly. 
Okay, so I wanna talk about performance because this is using, as I mentioned, the Intel Arc video card, which is definitely not some sort of RTX card or something like that. So how does it perform? I use the Super Position Benchmark Test at 1080 high settings. I got 24 frames per second average, total score of 3180. Then I tested it again with both screens turned on because that was the score with just one screen. When I turned on both screens, I was expecting worse performance. After all, the video card at this point is driving two monitors, but I actually got better scores. It averaged 26 frames per second, which made no sense whatsoever. Either way, a powerhouse gaming machine, this is definitely not, but I was impressed. Decent performance with that Ultra 7 processor and the Arc Intel graphics. It's not designed for gaming, but it will handle moderate gaming, which is what my test proved. Obviously, this just isn't a gaming PC, and you have to know that going into it, but if you're doing video editing, Photoshop work, lots of web work with multiple windows open at the same time, that's where this laptop is going to excel, especially when you talk about the dual screens. And what I noticed is that it didn't skip a beat when I had windows open on one screen and on the other screen at the same time. Okay, I do wanna mention the stylus because frankly, I love the fact that Asus included this inside the box. Typically, this could be something that costs an extra $60. So it's nice that this comes with the laptop. With that said, Windows 11 still, in my opinion, just doesn't feel fully ready for a stylus. The way Samsung phones and tablets work so well with the Samsung S Pen or the Apple Pencil on the iPads, it doesn't feel like that. It was responsive. The software knew where the tip was before I even touched the screen. But frankly, drawing on this screen still felt meh. I do think this is more software than hardware related, and hopefully it gets better with time, but for pros, I can tell you this pen, this stylus is not going to replace a professional digitizer tablet. Okay, so the question is, would I buy this thing? Would this be my next laptop? And the truth is, I'm a small laptop guy. My laptop has an 11 inch screen. So this frankly is a big laptop and you add the extra thickness of that keyboard and it's an even bigger laptop. But with that said, normally I move over to a full size 32 inch screen desktop PC when I wanna get stuff done. This could actually kind of take the role of both your laptop and your desktop PC. I could realistically see this with the dual screens doing exactly that. So it kind of changes the conversation. It kind of takes things to that next level. And the truth is the price is right. It starts at $1,500 for two OLED screens. That is a surprise, frankly. And this laptop, the ZenBook Duo, was everything I expected. You know what, scratch that. It was everything I wanted it to be. And, and that's saying a lot. I think the stylus needs some work, mostly on the software end. I think the thickness is something we might see get better with time with new versions, new revisions. But first out of the gate, this changes the way we think of laptops. And I think Asus is spot on with a brand new concept that if you're looking for something unique and you think you could use these two screens, you can't go wrong for this price tag. So if you wanna shop for this, check out the link in the description. It goes on sale February 14th. If you have questions that I didn't answer, this review is not over. Pop your questions in the comments. I'm more than happy to continue this conversation and test out specific things that you're interested in. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. A lot more cool videos on Aces products and other cool tech right here on Tech It Before You Wreck It. I'm Kirk.